um, but I do know somebody has told me that your future is always brighter than your past. Kathleen Kane breaks her silence on her last day as Pennsylvania's Attorney General. She announced her resignation yesterday, one day after being convicted on perjury and obstruction charges. Kane called the day bittersweet, but says it was an honor to serve the people of Pennsylvania. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jessica Dean. And I'm Nicole Brewer. Yuki Washington is off. Kane spoke publicly about her future today in her hometown of Scranton. Eyewitness News reporter David Spun joins us now inside the CBS3 Sat Center with that story. David? Well, Nicole, it's 5 o'clock. That means that Kathleen Kane's resignation has officially kicked in. She is now the former attorney. Attorney General of Pennsylvania, Bruce Castor, now at the helm until election. Two days after she was convicted of a felony, the once rising political star went to work as the Attorney General for the last time. Kathleen Kane did not go to Harrisburg on her last day as the state's top law enforcement officer. She went to her office in Scranton, her hometown. It's bittersweet. I loved my job. I'm proud of the work that we've done. Kane is now without a job and without a law license. She's also a convicted felon waiting to learn her sentence. None of that seemed to phase her as she stopped to talk to reporters. Hopefully once this is all over, I can just continue to do what I love to do. Kane says that's fighting the drug war and protecting children, but it's not clear when or if that'll happen because she could go to prison. She was convicted of deliberately leaking information to get revenge against a former state prosecutor after bad press. A jury found her guilty on all nine counts of perjury-related charges. She could face seven years behind bars. I don't have any regrets. I, um, I try to live my life without any regrets. I try to live every day like it's my last. I try to do the best job I can every day, and I have no regrets. I, I hope that people see that we've done our best, and I hope that all the work that we've done, and, you know, sometimes the price is high. Former Attorney General Kathleen Kane will appear before a judge on October 24th for sentencing. Her attorneys are appealing the Montgomery County jury's decision. Reporting live, David Spunt, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. David, thank you.